place is disgusting. If you hate the color scheme so much, use your one phone call, get yourself a good lawyer. I can save the taxpayers their quarter. All my calls are being made for me. Suit yourself. The best lawyer in this country is already on his way. I'm going to be driven away from this dump in a limousine. My mother is Erica Kane, and right now, she's taking care of everything. Well, thank you so much for coming on such short notice. Well, we realize you're on a pretty tight schedule. No, 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 really. I always have time to discuss enchantment with my major stockholders. You have more pressing matters on your mind these days. But not tonight. Really, the only thing on my agenda is business. Enchantment business, the future of enchantment. If there is to be a future for enchantment, I am so aware of this, this major decision that is facing you, and uh, I cannot stress this strongly enough. If you value the investment that you have made in my company, which I built from scratch, then there just is no question. Alec McIntyre must go. I want to go back to Adam, but Alec won't let me. Well, what, what do you mean he won't let you? What, what is he going to do to stop you? He won't let me go. See, I, I've explained to him that I love my husband and I want to go back to him, but he just won't leave me alone. I'm a witness. He made a total scene right in this hospital. He could have gotten Gloria fired. What exactly happened? He wanted me to run away with him. Practically strong-armed her. McIntyre is a one-man wrecking ball. I had to call security before somebody got hurt. Are you saying that he's dangerous? Yes. See, if there's something or someone he wants, then no one better get in his way. His mother raised Jamal alone. Her name was Janine Wilson. I believe she was your Janine. And I believe Jamal is your son. Uh, no, Tom, I don't have any children. So she never told you that she was pregnant? Uh, no, because she wasn't pregnant. I don't think that's something that she could hide from me. How do you know that? I know, because if she had been pregnant, she would have told me. And I would have stayed with her, and we would have dealt with it together. No, Tom, I don't think so. I did not get the girl pregnant and then leave her. Sorry, Jamal is not my son. <laughs> children brought to you by kicks the cereal with a corn crunch that kids love gloria if you are going to get a restraining order you are going to have to show cause now has alec ever hit you oh no no he, he wouldn't hurt anyone physically as far as we know well has he threatened you not with violence he does enough damage without using his fists are you sure that you haven't done anything to encourage him? No, I haven't. We, uh, slept together one night because I wanted to. Because he said he, he was leaving, he was going to quit his job, and I'd never see him again. Gloria took him at his word, and she came home expecting to find out that he had hit the road. Only when she gets there, Bam, he hasn't even budged. He won't leave. That's when the blackmail started. See, Alec, um, had threatened to squeal to Adam if, if, you know, Gloria had had him fired. Now, is he still blackmailing you? No. Oh, only because Gloria spilled the beans first. Well, see, Alec is now working at Eric's, Erica's company, and he's trying to take that over. Right? Nice guy, right? Rules, regulations, nope, not in Alec McIntyre's vocabulary. See, if Alec wants someone or something, then he feels like he has a right to just go up and take it, and nobody can stop him. Oh, my God, no. Look, wait, wait, are you in pain? No, Tom, somebody has to stop Tom. 
Jamal's mother is Janine Wilson. He was born May 31st, 1981. You can look all this information up. That means that he was conceived sometime around August 1980. Look, I don't give a damn when your kid was conceived, okay? You have obviously got the wrong Janine Wilson, or you got your dates mixed up. Somebody screwed up somewhere, because look, Jamal is not my son. Look, Alec, through our paternity test, I would like for don't, Jamal not to have to go through Don't give me this test stuff. We don't need any tests. He's not my son. Look. You, you don't know anything about Janine and me. I know about Jamal, and it's Jamal that I am worried well, about. Well, you can stop worrying, okay? Because Janine and I didn't keep anything from each other, and she would have no reason to keep a secret like this from me. Okay? No, this is ridiculous. If she had been pregnant, she would have told me immediately. Everything would have been entirely different. You left for Yale University in September of 1980. You cut yourself off from Janine. She wouldn't have done that. It's, there's, it's not something that she would have gone through by herself. She did not have to do that. Look, if the baby was conceived in August, maybe she had no way of letting you know. Why? Well, well, that letter. What letter? I was at school. I had been ducking her phone calls and she sent me a letter. It was in the fall. It was at the end of September. I remember because I was on my way to a football game with some friends when I got it. I didn't want to read it because I knew, I thought I knew what was in it. I couldn't deal with anything but a clean break, so I threw it away. What if she was telling me that she was pregnant? I just crumpled it up and I threw it away. better things to do than annoy me. Like mother, like daughter. Why aren't you out on the street arresting other poor innocent people? You have a visitor. Didn't I tell you Erica makes things happen quickly? You can let my lawyer in now. I certainly hope that this isn't the best legal counsel your mother could scrounge up. D did I miss a major fashion trend? Have top lawyers given up tasseled loafers in favor of biker boots? What are you talking about? She's all yours. Just make it quick. I almost didn't find you. I had to talk to six different officers to track you down. Are you okay? They really did it. They arrested me, Anton. The DA must have told them to give me the full treatment. I mean, they fingerprinted me. They searched me. So how do we get you out of here? The DA is so furious, he probably threw away the key. I mean, isn't he supposed to care about truth, about justice? All he cares about is his precious caseworker. He wants me to do time. Look, he can't stop us from posting bail. I have to be arraigned or something before a judge even sets bail. I need a lawyer. Hasn't Erica arranged for all that? You promised she would, but so far, nothing. Have you talked to anyone? I've been waiting for my lawyer. Was there anyone else out there looking for me? No. I can't spend the night in jail, Anton. You have to get me out of here. Look, if I had trouble getting information, maybe Erica did too. You're right. Erica must be furious getting the run around while I'm locked up. Look, I'll go find Erica and I'll tell her what's going on, okay? We'll get you out of here. Thank you. I haven't done anything yet. Yes, you have. You're here. No one else is. Hey, I'll take care of everything, okay? Be brave. Is your brilliant attorney in a rush to plea bargain? You'll know my lawyer when you see him. Oh, your boyfriend didn't hang around very long. 
Can't blame him. Bars are a definite downer if you're going for the romantic atmosphere. He's going to tell my mother how I've been treated. I'm going to be free in no time, and if you don't watch it, I'll have you put on report. You're pretty sure of yourself. Why shouldn't I be? I have Erica Kane on my side. W would that happen to be the same Erica Kane that you tried to send up the river? You don't know my mother. Au contraire. I booked her into this exact jail cell. One thing I learned from that experience, she is not a woman who likes to be crossed. I can't imagine that she enjoyed your original testimony. Such a shame. Perjury can destroy even the most functional families. Blood is thicker than water, you'll see. Erica Kane's daughter doesn't spend the night in jail. She has to help me. She has to. There is nothing but good news all around. Our stock is steady and strong, and our latest projection predicts record sales. So the idea of Alec McIntyre at the helm of enchantment, well, that is just, well, it's laughable. The man truly cannot tell the difference between eyeliner and mascara. <laughs> and, I mean, his knowledge of our entire product line is, it's truly non-existent. How's your trial progressing? More good news, George. The tide has turned in my favor. Justice will be done, and my name shall be cleared. Then I can devote myself 100% to enchantment. If you're found not guilty by reason of temporary insanity? Temporary is the key word there, George. Honestly, this was a once-in-a-lifetime incident. And now I know it will never, ever occur again. Are you sure that you're up to returning as CEO? I never left. I mean, granted, I, I certainly did rely on the help of some assistants to pick up the slack, but enchantment is my baby. I mean, I always make the important decisions. Any personal problems that I had have been resolved. I have proven myself as CEO of enchantment, and my record is reflected in all of our company's growth and profits. In fact, if you have any questions, refer them to Dimitri Merrick. Merrick's behind you? Yes. Yes, and if the unfortunate victim of all these truly horrendous circumstances, if he believes in me and he stands behind my business decisions, then I feel certain that the entire world will rally behind me and support me. What about that daughter of yours? Oh, Bianca. Well, Bianca lives in Seattle with her father. Certainly my visits to her have never interfered with my, my job performance at Enchantment. No, the, the other one. The one who crashed your press conference, Kendall. How shall I put this? Biology aside, Kendall Hart is certainly no daughter of mine. Will you excuse me for a moment, please? I was just at the yes. jail, Ennis. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, this will have to wait. Are these her lawyers? No, 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 this is enchantment business. You're doing business now? Yes, I'm trying. How can you do this when Kendall's in jail? What is the matter with you? Tom went to find Alec. Tom's telling him? Telling him what? What is going we on? We didn't know. We thought you were exaggerating. We just didn't know how out of hand Alec could get. All right, all right. I'm, I'm going to try to stop hurry, Tom before please, he hurry, opens please, his mouth. What is going on? Alec is not going to hurt Tom. He's not a violent man. Oh, I'm sorry. I, it's, it's, it's very personal. <laughs> 